Haras Police Crime Investigations Coordinator Deputy Commissioner Nicodemus Mbango confirmed the couple's arrest. The couple, he says, told police their baby fell ill in November last year and they gave the child traditional remedies. The traditional medicine, the couple told police, may have caused the child's death. Deputy Commissioner Mbanko says the couple buried their baby in a shallow grave in the field at resettlement farm Swarberg, where they are employed. This happened during November last year when uh, the two couples apparently took their, their child in the field when she fell sick. They took this child to the field in, in order to administer a traditional medicine. While they were there, the, the baby died and they decided not to take or to give this information to anyone but rather to bury the child. So whoever is going to ask them as to what happened to their child, they decided to agree and say they sent the child to the north. So somebody now, somewhere, I, I believe the day after yesterday, pick up this information. When he overheard them talking to the parents in the north to say, they were with the, the baby at the farm. Now, this develops some suspicious. How now can they say they are with the baby while they are telling the colleague at the farm that the child was taken to the north? And the couple Festus Kamati and Monica Franz were remanded in police custody following the appearance on murder charges in the Karasburg Magistrates Court. This is the second murder that has sent shock waves across Tara's region. Last week, police arrested a 35-year-old mother after she killed a one-year-old baby at farm Bochensbrun near Batani. The mother, Vapeni Lucia Boys, a former police officer, was remanded in police custody following a court appearance on a murder charge. The, according to the information, she went missing from Swakopmund. And this information not, was not reported to the police. It was just reported to some social medias. Police were not aware that she, this person went missing. But now how she found her way in Karas, we don't know. We, we, we were just given a tip off by a farmer who spotted her in his farm. And, uh, she actually went to ask water at his resident, and after he gave her water, he was now keeping an eye on her. So he sent his worker to go and check what she was doing actually, and this when now this shallow grave was discovered, and the police was informed. Mbango says an autopsy report shows the one-year-old had 15 step wounds on her body, which had been inflicted with a sharp object. Luke Mantluta, NBC News, Kitman's work.